Santorum has been talking about religion quite a bit on the campaign trail. And uh, recently he decided to talk about a speech that JFK gave on the separation of church and state. Let's watch what Santorum had to say about that speech. Early in the campaign, you talked about John F. Kennedy's famous speech to the Baptist ministers in Houston back in 1960. Here's what you had to say. Very late in my political career, I had the opportunity to read the speech, and I almost threw up. You should read the speech. That speech has been read, as you know, by millions of Americans. Its themes were echoed in part by Mitt Romney in the last campaign. Why did it make you throw up? Because the first line, first uh, substantive line in the speech says, I believe in America where the, ch the separation of church and state is absolute. I don't believe in an America where the separation of church and state is absolute. The idea that, the, that uh, the, the church can have no influence or no involvement in the operation of the state w is absolutely antithetical to the, to the objectives and, and, and vision of our country. Okay, this is why I am disgusted by the Republicans and conservatives who wrap themselves in our flag and purport to be patriots. They're not patriots. They're the worst kinds of traitors. He has absolutely no idea of what this country was founded on. Um, and the, the separation of church and state is the most fundamental thing that this country was founded on. Right. Nothing more. That was the number one thing. And he is claiming that that makes him want to vomit. He's saying that what this country stands on what, what, it makes him vomit. So. These people who pretend that they're so loyal to our Constitution and, and such patriots, I mean, they're just absolutely full of it. You know, what's amazing is, like, if I were a Democrat running against him, right, I don't know if Obama would ever do this, he probably wouldn't, but I would claim that Rick Santorum is unpatriotic. You don't love America because you don't love what America was founded upon. Unfortunately, uh, as you saw from the Santorum crowds, uh, people don't really understand what America is. They think America is, you know, California and Texas and Alabama, they think it's actual a place, but it's not. Um, I've said this before and Jenka said it too. America is an idea. It's an idea that it's a, it's a nation of laws, not a nation of men. Uh, it's a nation where people have equal opportunity and that the church does not control everything because that is what, I mean, throughout history, that's, that's the way it was. I mean, churches controlled uh, the government mm -hmm. and America was founded on the principle that that would no longer happen that, that, that there's religious freedom and Rick Santorum's vision of America is also so Stupidly short-sighted because you know if he had a, if he had it his way and the church could take over the government duties Well, I guess that's just him fine for now mm -hmm. because you know he's a Christian and there are more Christians today but fast forward 100 years from now, 200 years from now, maybe it's all Muslims okay, at that point. Who knows? And then it'll be Islamic law uh, controlling our, our, um, our constitution. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. And it's so short-sighted. It's also wrong-headed. It's wrong for 100 different reasons. And you know, it goes to the idea of projection that JR has mentioned many times, right? These guys are so terrified of Sharia law, which is <laughs> taking over the United States, which is absurd because if they had it their way, they would impose all of their religious beliefs on, on everyone, our government. Right. That, that goes to the straw man that I was mentioning right after he was uh, he finished uh, spotting those stupid comments. Uh, the thing is, you have to say, okay, so if there's a separation of church and state, that means that there's this attack on religious people that they're not even allowed to say anything in the public square, as he says. So if 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 everyone is allowed to have their own beliefs. That means that if you're not allowed to punch your own to everyone else, then you're just being ousted, your beliefs are being shunned, and you're being put down and persecuted. They can't wait to be persecuted so they can have a reason to say, look at you attacking me. So, it, you, you, so with this, either there's a separation of church and state, um, or they get to do whatever the hell they want to do. There's, there's and by no the way, no. the whole purpose for the separation of church and state is that the government wouldn't dictate what type of religion you practice in this country, right? And you're free to practice Christianity. You're free to practice Mormonism. You're free to be a Muslim, Jewish, well, Muslim, a little questionable here in the United States, right? Especially if you're in New York City. Um, but, like, he fails to even understand that, that you live in a country where you are free to practice whatever religion you want. If you own a church or if you run a church, you are exempt from certain taxes. Like, there are so many great things about this country that you're completely overlooking, and it's because you want to, like, create this conspiracy theory about how the, the Democrats are trying to ruin religion and how they're trying to basically, you know, 
Well, I think churches should be taxed. Mm -hmm. It's one of the things that really pissed me off. Churches should be right. taxed. What, churches don't need fire, fire departments and, and, and police force? They don't need sewer lines and, and power lines? They don't use the roads to get to and from the church? Why, don't, why aren't they taxed? They should pay taxes. But that's a whole different argument. But anyway, mm -hmm. San Antonio doesn't understand the separation of church and state. Yeah. He just does not. Because as, as you mentioned, Anna, there's two provisions of the First Amendment on religion. One is the Establishment Clause that says that, that the state cannot establish any religion as a state religion. And the Free Exercise Clause, which says that you know, as, as individuals, we're free to exercise whatever religion that we want to exercise. And that is a very smart way of um, instituting this separation between, the, between church and state. And they want to break down that barrier and have the, establish, the Establishment Clause and the free exercise clause destroyed. Because if you destroy one, the other falls too. Because if you're allowed to establish a religion, then it's hard for our people to exercise freely the religion of their choice. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Now we have one more video of Santorum talking about religion, uh, and let's watch that. Well, yeah, well, absolutely, to say that people of faith have no role in the public square, you bet that makes you throw up. What kind of country do we live in that says only people of non-faith can come in the public square and make their case? That makes me throw up, and it should make every American, and we're seeing from a president, someone who, who, who is now trying to tell people of faith that you will do what the government says. Okay, he's Many totally connected making to president that Obama up. Somehow. Yeah, okay, yeah, exactly. He's completely making that up. In fact, in this country, uh, Christians have more influence than any other religion. If you are a presidential candidate and you are not Christian, what's the first thing that happens? You get criticized for it. Mitt Romney, I mean, I despise the guy, but he gets criticized for being a Mormon, right? Obama, they immediately cast him off as a Muslim because they wanted to demonize him and say, look, he's not like us, he's not like us. So to say that Christians don't have a say in the public square is something that he completely made up. All right, his comment that by having a separation, a complete separation of church and state, necessarily means that religious people cannot say anything in the public square. It's either a complete lie that he knows is a lie, or he's a complete and utter idiot. He it's one it's, or the other, he knows right? It's right. He knows it's a lie, right? Because it's a Look, just because there's a separation of church and state does not mean that a religious person can't stand in a public square <laughs> and say and what say he or what she wants to say. Because, you know, you know we're, we're going around and, and every one of these, there's a Christian church that gets wrecked every day, you know. It's such it's this big persecution. It's, if you come out and say, God, it's over. The country's on. Look, that's the whole point of having a public square, that you can have a free exchange of ideas, a marketplace of ideas. And nowhere does it imply in any way possible that religious people can't say anything.